And maybe it's she some shrugs. aura that you give off. You carry yourself Ooh. very pridefully. I don't know the word for it. <laughs> maybe a tone of voice you use with them, yes? When you shout mm. out. You intimidate them enough? You did, int maybe. did intimidate them. They recognize yeah. power. <laughs> they recognize yeah, yeah. Small smile. Like, yeah, you did yell at them, yeah. <laughs> maybe they recognize that power. Maybe. No, Suja, I think you're onto something. A lot of things radiate power, but not many of them are scale wooden sign of his bat. <laughs> Can we be fair of this place? I can't. Is <laughs> Lambert just struggling to comprehend what he just saw? <laughs> just the nightmare was terrible, terrible but this you. is uh, terrible in a different sense of the spectacle. I know this one thing I was wondering. What, what is the call? How familiar would I be with that crash? Would I know? Ah, that's a good. That's a very excellent question. That sounds like the perfect opportunity for a background roll, baby. I'll give you advantage. Get a twenty. Get a twenty. <laughs> two nat ones. Let's see. If he gets two nat ones, doesn't cancel out. Say that. Spread. If he if he gets two nat ones, I'll count as a twenty. <laughs> twenty one. Twenty one. Feels so hard to succeed. <laughs> um, your your odds of getting a twenty just increased one one thousand. Yes. Yeah. He just slams his head into the ground really hard. Ah, yes, I understand now. <laughs> it's it's like a word that gets sprinkled throughout your family's uh, traditions and history. It's um, how to describe? It's sort of like a moot. It's sort of like a meeting of dragons. The thing is, it only really happens for very specific chromatic ones. Very powerful chromatic ones who can bully other people into showing up or else I'll fucking kill you. Or metallics. And even then, some metallics ignore it because they're chaotic sorts of people. Um, but yeah, it is a meeting of powers. The meeting is... Usually very severe. Right, like dragons don't meet in like a council to discuss like land disputes or anything like that. No, that's more of a just like, all right, which are, like talk it out, you two. You don't need to bring the rest of us from across the world in on it. And that is the thing; it can span across the world. Run them claws, homie. Run them claws. So, Run them wings, bitch. Yeah, no. The uh, very fact that there is a meeting would indicate to me then, as a jar, that something real bad is, is uh, happening with all the other things that's setting up red red flags all over the place. Something big is that? Correct. Now the catch is there's no there's no knowing who will show up, how powerful the people that show up are, stuff like that. It can delineate down to what well, you saw them right now, kobolds and stuff like that, think things of a draconic lineage to some way, shape or form. Or it could just be for the higher ups. Like they could send out a specific yeah. call, which only the top dogs will answer to. So there's something that's how the giants and something that's scaring the dragons. Yes. Yeah, how it works is a, is not something your history would know. Some no. imply that it's the father of dragons doing the summoning himself. Others imply that it's magic that some dragons know and learn and use to logistically send out calls. It's some say it takes a ritual, some say there's a number of reasons potentially. Yeah. Yeah, I would explain all of this uh, to, to the group and I would add if we are going to keep any sort of peace, we want a seat at that meeting. At that, We need to find a way to get invited. Why didn't you mention that? I was actually going to get around to that. Yes, that is a thing. You guys as a whole cannot just show up. You guys aren't related. Only Sajar. And even then, in technicality for Wardens, you you need your Oath Keeper to show up with you. Yeah. Which would be a massive problem. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, I have one stock in this company. There's like one billion stocks, though. But I have one. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> We're talking only majority shareholders here. Yeah. 
So for that you're going to need to get sponsored. To you either need to become powerful enough that they just recognize you, have a big enough horde that they couldn't recognize you, which is a quote unquote power, or you get sponsored. Yeah. Or you change your oath to someone else, which would be breaking your oath to... Yeah, maybe not do that. No. Probably makes several problems. <laughs> Logistically, yes. Bureaucratically, yes. So, you guys, uh... I'm gonna assume that as you guys are talking about all this dragon stuff, Tolos is in the midst of, um... Identifying the sure. items for you. All right. You get... Great sword of wounding. I spelled great sword wrong. I don't care. Well done. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> just yeah, just shut up. Then I need to. See... I can always confuse this name with the other one. one. Oh, one X meaning there's only one, not that. Yes, yeah, so there's one X. There's okay. one one amount of yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Would it count as a mat? It has a magic effect, but it's not a magic weapon for, like, resistances, correct? Oh, then it should be a plus one. Oh, it should be a plus one. Okay. Yeah, I can't type right now or anything left. No, that's fine. Life is I'm asking for my own clarification. <laughs> I only have one of these. I should drink more of this. Uh... A thunderous dagger. That's interesting. Ooh, fancy. So, the great sword of wounding is true to the uh, way the DMG runs it. Because it's, well, templated from the DMG. Right. It's, I know Garf is quite, uh, quite fond of it. Which, even though it's a very rarely used mechanic. Yeah. I just is like it in the roll twenty? Things. Actually, no, I don't trust roll twenty. It's just a DMG. I, I don't trust roll twenty. <laughs> As you shouldn't. It's got to be <laughs> yeah. behind a pay gate. Paywall. So, once a turn, when you hit someone with an attack with it, they will suffer one d four necrotic damage for each time you've wounded them. You hit them. <laughs> but at the end of their turn, they can make a DC fifteen con save, ending the effect. Totally. So not one stack, like the whole effect. If they uh if they succeed. So Just is there an associated save when they uh for when you first hit them? No. So you'll always get at least one D4 for free, I believe. That the attacks stack. So if you hit them twice and land and twice, does that mean you get two? Two D four at the be two D four at the beginning of the next turn. It keeps going oh, okay. until they make the save, basically. So if you get oh. a dozen we'll times, say it's not listed in here, but I'm gonna apply it. If they get healed, then they it just stops it immediately. That makes sense. Or alternatively, here mm -hmm. it says they uh, an hour or they or a creature within five feet can make a DC 15 whiz, uh, medicine check on them. But I'm gonna say if you get healed, then that cancels it too because that's the same fucking thing. That makes sense. Yeah, it's called the sword of wounding. So if we heal yeah, the wound heal away, the wound, then it's fine. It's a sword <laughs> being. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's sort of, fair. You gotta keep bleeding, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. The thunderous yeah. dagger. What the fuck does that do? The thunderous dagger is a type of throwing knife. Right. Three times per day. Uh -huh. It's sort of okay. Imagine like lightning, javelin, but thunder and a dagger. Right. So three times a day. Mm -hmm. Not the same. It's similar. Three times a day. You have to call it before you throw it. Or stab with it, or whatever. Three times a day, when you hit a target with it, so if you call it in and you don't hit, it doesn't uh, deplete a charge, don't worry. You call in the Wrath of Thunder, and when you hit a target with it, the target suffers an additional 3d8 thunder damage. Jesus. Three times a day. You have to call it in ahead of time, huh? You guys can't just be like, oh, I crit, can I call in the Wrath of Thunder? No, you can't fucking do that. <laughs> it's not a smite. But it kicks some ass. You can attempt to use it past the three times a day, but if you do, it has an increasing cumulative, increasing chance of destroying itself. Oh. Hmm. It starts at twenty five percent, then to fifty, then seventy five, and so on. 
And are... <laughs> Tolus, do you have any way to tell if any of them are cursed, considering... I'm afraid that the identify spell doesn't identify curses, sorry. One way to find out. Curses are often made by very nefarious sorts of people that sort of know what they're doing when it comes to that sort of stuff, so... Sorry. So we finding out the uh, traditional way, yes? I mean, you could try asking Lambert. I'm sure there's some cleric mumbo-jumbo that he knows, right? That's a kind way to Yes, look. Lambert? You oh, know cleric mumbo-jumbo? I thought you were a student of multiple facets of religion. I am, but, uh... I don't know everything. And they smile brightly at that. Very wise, <laughs> wise of you. Very wise of you. I don't think clerics actually have a way of identifying curse. They can detect if an item is like, like desecrated and stuff, I guess, which detect good Is there a spell for detect curse? I don't know if there is. I think no, there is. it's specifically, uh, there's remove curse. Yeah, there's remove curse, they... yeah. Uh, we're, we're doing what you say. You can decide amongst yourself who gets them. I already have a magic weapon. Shuffles towards greatsword. <laughs> yes, well, I not use either, so I'm out as well. Oh, a tragedy. Magic sword, yeah. Give me an hour. If I'm cursed by the end of it, we'll know. Well, if you want to be, uh, what is the name of the animal? A uh, small guinea, guinea pig. Guinea, guinea pig. Yes, I you know. want to be. Oh, before, oh, oh, before you go. Oh. Does Redame put on the mask at any point? Just wondering. You know what? Sure, that that's a great time. Okay, perfect. Well, while they're <laughs> figuring their stuff out. Then can well, you're not you're not at your computer, are you? Uh, I can be. I can just roll for it. They seem to turn it off. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, it's fine. It's gonna be a DC 20 charisma save. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to give you resistance from Lambert, and I'm assuming if need not is okay with it, can you also provide Redain a bardic inspiration? Yes. Okay. Then I'll just note that for later then. <laughs> Why we'll roll later. It sounds like he's gonna need it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I mean, he has a decently high charisma, and bards have the save proficiency, so maybe he won't need it. Hopefully, I can go. Yeah, no, That's better safe than sorry. Do you have a DC? I know you. You have a high charisma score because you're so cute. Hey, he also has a Hello? high, high uh, dexterity because he sneak attacks. Yes, he sneak attacks me a lot, particularly in my feet. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. So, um, as you guys are getting attuned to everything, um, uh. Actually, da, 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 let me double check something. Let me double check something. The greatsword will require attunement. I would say that for free. Check. Da da da. Where the fuck it is it? Oh, okay. The dagger does not require attunement. Huh. Nice. So if either yeah. of them is cursed, it's. Definitely the dagger, or not the dagger, the fucking sword. Yes. So as uh, we're getting attuned to that, how about we take a five-minute break, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey. Be right back. I'm gonna use this. Yeah. Huh? Would you be cool if Oriana took that one? The great sword. Yes. Because she is very interested in it, and also she doesn't have like a like a. Wait, hold on. I have to double check one thing. I don't know if great swords have the heavy property. I believe they do. They do, don't they? Uh, uh, sword. I imagine they probably do. Yeah, because they're two-handed, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. Not all two-handed ones are like a long sword, versatile. Ah. Uh. Bring up the items. Please, actually, just make make it show up, please. There we go. Is it just? Why can't I find great sword? What is wrong with me? You could. What the? Is it like dash sword? No. Item great. Okay, why didn't you hold up the first time then? Oh, it's heavy. Well, never fucking mind. 
because she she can use weapons she's not proficient in as long as they're not heavy weapons so it's like well fuck <laughs> <laughs> and then deet would be better to have the dagger because like having sneak attack along with thunderous st stabbing holy yeah, shit I was... that's a lot of spike uh -huh. yeah i was gonna ask for that yeah, yeah just yeah. waiting for us uh the great sword to be uh sorted out first yeah sure i don't mind well she can't do it she, she can't do the thing <laughs> so you can have it Oriana's just shuffling money into the bag. Yeah. Your horn is <laughs> <ripley. laughs> While we're not doing anything, would Saz be able to take, like, two potions from the bag of holding to stock back right, up or I was no? gonna, I was, I no, was gonna, like, absolutely try not. sort that out I, No, I, I'm not asking That's you. That's a good point. I was gonna try and sort <laughs> and that, that out earlier, but everyone's talking, so I couldn't get through the conversation. I'm back. So, who back. needs potions? Write in the chat, and then I'll mark it down in the back of Oh yeah, just so um, you guys have a visual reference, the great sword of wounding is um, a flame barrel. <clears throat> a flame sword, is it called? Or a snake sword. People are called a snake sort of wrong, though, so. They are. They're very wrong. And I think the hardest words to make. People call it a snake sword because the fucking snake guides in Dark Souls use it. Or you get, the, get it from them or whatever. Also, oh, I thought you were going to go hang up your wife. I, th I thought you had something you were waiting to mention to me. No, I can just roll for you. Oh, okay. Alright. Cool, cool. Oh, no, this isn't going to fix, is it? I just don't want to put you in the doghouse. <laughs> nope, you're good. Uh, I saw my neighbor's flag was about to fall over, so I fixed it for him. So I had to walk down the block a little bit. Ah, oh, the lock wasn't in. I thought that would be to you. But, okay, see you later. Later. See, see you! Bye! You crash your game. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Look at the wiggle sword. Alright, I'm just gonna roll now, now that uh, O's gone. Uh, 